What's up YouTube? It's James Q Quick from Learn, Build, Teach. And today I wanna to talk to you about the top 10 podcasts for web developers. Now, before we get started, I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, kind of the never endless uh, learning opportunities in web development. There's always a new framework. There's always a new technology. There's always something to learn. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of my time watching YouTube videos, taking online courses on Udemy, and following well-respected developers and content creators on Twitter, on their personal sites, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm constantly learning as a web developer, and I think to be a good web developer, you have to kind of be that kind of person. So one of the things that I've taken to doing is listening to podcasts, and this is a great way to continue to learn, to learn about different technologies, to learn about other things that people are doing on the go. So you can listen to this, uh, you know, driving your car. You can listen to it while you're cleaning the house. You can listen to it in the shower if you want, if that's the kind of thing you do. Uh, wherever you want to, you can listen to podcasts and really get a lot out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and break down the top 10 podcasts that are out there for, for web development. Now, first up is Syntax, and uh, they kind of advertise a Tasty Treats podcast for web developers. That's kind of the, uh, not necessarily a joke, but kind of the the icon that they go with is these Tasty Treats that they, that they put out. And this is by uh, Wes Boss and Scott Talinsky, two of the most well-respected content creators of web development content. And they go through all different kinds of, uh, you know, JavaScript and front-end and back-end stuff, as well as kind of like soft, soft skills. Uh, they talk a lot about kind of uh, work-life balance and working out and the benefits of that and how it affects your career and things like that. So they get a little bit more than just the, just the tech side. They give you... Um, they give you a little bit extra and they've got a great personality. They're really entertaining. They're fun to listen to. So this is by far my favorite of the 10 podcasts. So highly recommend it that you, that you guys check out uh, Syntax. So next up is Code Pen Radio. And this one is kind of interesting. Code Pen is probably something that you guys are familiar with. It's a, a website where you can save like snippets of code, example code, stuff like that, that other people can check out. And CodePen itself, CodePen employees actually run CodePen Radio. So what they do is they get on here and they uh, they talk about what it's like running a small web software business. And small is kind of relative because they're actively growing, right? And they've gotten a lot of support in the last couple of years. So it's kind of cool to hear insight from uh, employees at a company that's continuing to grow and continuing to kind of push the limits on what they're doing and evolve along the way. So this is something that you can kind of listen to what they're doing internally and then kind of externally just look at the progress that CodePen is making as well. So really, really cool aspect of a small business kind of growing their business. So next up is Full Stack uh, Radio and this is hosted by Adam Wathan. Adam Wathan is, <clears throat> again, one of the bigger uh, content creators in the web development community. He's got great stuff on Vue, Laravel, and then he just came out with Refactoring UI, which is uh, by far one of the hottest design resources for developers out there. Now, design is something that I personally struggle with. Uh, so having the resources, the the tips and tricks he puts out on Twitter, as well as the content that he's got in Refactoring UI is just really, really incredible. So uh, on this podcast, he talks about everything from product design and user experience to unit testing and sysadmin, kind of a, a wide range of topics. And uh, pay close attention to the design and, ex and user experience ones, again, because he is just absolutely fantastic. The, the tips and tricks and stuff that he shares on Twitter are top top notch so uh, you're going to get a lot out of those kind of things but also again this covers a wide array of topics uh, that you guys can uh, listen to and learn from as well so next up is shop talk and uh, this is an internet radio show about the internet uh, starring dave rupert and chris coyer and i want to pull it so i'm not quite as familiar with these two individually uh chris coyer i believe is one of the founders of CodePen. yeah which is pretty sweet uh, also uh, built CSS Tricks. This is one of the biggest websites in CSS for content on CSS. That's kind of repetitive, but there it is. So uh, this is, again, one of the greatest resources out there in terms of content for web, dev web developers, specifically for CSS. And then I uh, want to look up Dave Rupert real quick. So Dave is a lead developer at Parable, which uh, after doing a little bit of research is a basically design agency or web design shop in Austin, Texas. Uh, and then obviously the co-founder of Shop Talk. So like the other podcasts that we talked about so far, uh, definitely got a, a variety of things that they cover. Uh, talking about Babel in the most recent episode, uh, learning how to design, they'll bring guests on, performance improvements, which that's a, that's a pretty big deal. 
uh, Baz, which actually I'm not sure what Baz is in this context, uh, agile, human readable URLs, all different kinds of stuff that they go through. And actually, uh, funny enough, they, I think it was Dave Rupert actually joined code pen radio. Uh, one of the podcasts that we just talked about a second ago, uh, for one of the most re recent episodes, you guys can keep an eye out for that. All right. So JavaScript Jabber is one of the next one. And typically JavaScript Jabber has, uh, maybe, maybe three, four, sometimes five hosts in there as well as a guest. And I think this is this is one of the benefits or one of the things that I like about Java, JavaScript Jabber is that it does become like very conversational. So you get lots of different um, lots of different opinions, lots of different questions, and I think they they do it pretty well in terms of mixing all of these different people. Now, typically your podcasts only have you know one or two people, maybe a third person is the guest. This one can be four or five or so. Uh, but they, again, they do it well. It's conversational. And everything JavaScript that you can think of, there's some Azure things that are uh, recent. Uh, I actually just listened to part of the Jamstack one this morning and really enjoyed it as well. So this is one of the ones that I've been listening to for the longest as uh, in addition to syntax that we talked about first. So if you're uh, a little bit more specific to React, uh, there's the React podcast, conversations about React with your favorite developers. Uh, obviously, this is a more targeted audience. If, um, if you're looking for something more generic, one of the other ones that we've talked about, obviously, uh, this one is going to be react specific. So react is one of the hottest front end frameworks. So it kind of makes sense that ha this has enough, uh, enough content to be its own podcast. Now there's also an angular podcast. Uh, I think it's adventures with angular. If you get, if you're an angular developer, you can, uh, you can listen to that one and check that one out as well, but it didn't quite make this top 10 list. So it's just kind of up to you what you, uh, what you listen to, but that is react podcast. So next up is Code Newbie, and I think this one is pretty unique because this is stories from people on their coding journey. And I think a lot of us feel like uh, learning to code, learning to do web development can be kind of a lonely path. We struggle, it, we bang our head, heads against the wall, we Google things for hours, we just change stuff until it works. It can be a, it can be a struggle. So it's kind of cool in here for people that are new uh, to hear stories from people who basically started from scratch, or taught themselves a lot and the things that they learned along the way, how they persevered through all the typical uh, tough situations and scenarios that they came across along the way. And uh, it's, it's just really great. It's more personal because it's, it's obviously personal stories from people. So if you are relatively new to, uh, to programming or web development specifically, I think this is definitely going to resonate with you as you are kind of building up your journey to, uh, to maybe become a full-time developer or something like that. So next up is front end happy hour as the drink or as the drink implies, as the name probably implies, uh, this is actually hosted over drinks. So the hosters, uh, hosters, hostess, hosts, uh, this podcast, uh, are actually sitting around just kind of drinking. And I think that's, that's a cool idea. It's super casual. They obviously get into, uh, some serious, you know, content and, and conversations, but, uh, they're, they're relaxed enough to just kind of sit back and have a drink while they talk about it. So this is kind of think about almost like a fireside chat thing where you're just kind of out, out at night with your friends, just kind of talking through, uh, whatever it is that you're working on. So they've got some web performance here, uh, engineering performance, uh, internships, internships. So they've got some good, uh, good play on words here. Uh, progressive well, <laughs> web apps is uh, pale wheat ale. I don't know how that actually ties together. So they've got some cool like play on words with, with drinking and that kind of stuff. So they really kind of embrace that brand, which I think is cool. So next up is Real Talk JavaScript hosted by John Papa, Ward Bell, and Dan Whalen. Now I know a little bit more about John Papa and Dan, Dan Whalen. They are both pretty tied into the .NET community. Both have been uh, pretty big in the Angular community as well. I know John Papa has recently moved to get a little more involved in the Vue community. Uh, but these are these are three pretty big names uh, in just kind of online content again for uh, web development. So these are definitely people that you're going to want to follow. I followed John Papa, for example, since I worked in Florida and saw him speak really early on five or six years ago uh, and really, it really just enjoyed that and to follow the things that he's done along the way. So this is a relatively new podcast. It's only been around, uh, it came out in 2018. I don't know exactly when. So if you look up reviews or something uh, in iTunes, not going to have as many reviews, but just remember it is relatively new, but it, I think it's doing really, really well and it's definitely grown a lot along the way. Uh, so Real Talk JavaScript, uh, let's see, JavaScript web development stories hosted by those three and just kind of anything that you can think of. So last up on here is a little bit of a cheat uh, because it's kind of an aggregate 
of uh, different JavaScript podcasts, primarily being JavaScript Jabber. But the other one on here, the MJS is my JavaScript story. So these are, and there's a few other ones, although it looks like recently it's mainly primarily just been the, the JavaScript Jabber and the my JavaScript story. Yeah, so I think that's basically what you're gonna get with this one. So again, it's uh, maybe a little bit of a cheat here to throw it in there, but it was one of the, when I searched JavaScript in uh, iTunes, it was one of the first ones that popped up. And uh, if you're listening to JavaScript Driver, you can follow this one instead directly, and then also get the My JavaScript Stories as well. So it, it, does, it does provide you an extra benefit of a whole other podcast that you can listen to. And it, uh, it's been pretty popular with a lot of reviews on here. So that's gonna wrap up the top 10 podcasts for web developers. Again, you can, you can be learning constantly. There's never an opportunity where you can't be learning and in JavaScript and web development, you really need to be constantly learning. So I hope you guys check out the podcast. I'm curious, what podcast do you listen to? Is there anything I'm missing on here that you would include on this top 10 list? Anything that you would take out? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out learnbuildteach.com to sign up for the newsletter to learn about my latest content. Thanks for watching.